In these problems, we are trying to identify transformations that will map a quadrilateral onto itself. That is, after you apply the transformation, uh, it looks exactly the same. So this has to do with symmetry, and the kinds of transformations we're looking at are reflections and rotations. Um, so let's see what we got here. In this one, we've got a trapezoid, and um, and we've got some lines that cut across it. Here's M, here's N. The way I would approach this problem is to take a look at those uh, lines of reflection and see what would happen if I folded it. And probably just by looking, you can tell if you folded it across N, you, the two pieces wouldn't match up. The piece on the top is, is narrower than the piece on the bottom. And M, likewise, it wouldn't match up. There's much more of the trapezoid down here on this part than there is on this side of M. So it doesn't look to me like the reflections are going to work. The rotations they're offering us are 180 degrees. Well, that would just turn this thing upside down. And it, it's smaller on top than it is on the bottom. If we turn it upside down, it's going to be smaller on the bottom than it is on the top. That's not the same. Or a 270 degree rotation. And that's really just going to stand it on its side. So since those are our four choices, those two reflections or the, the two rotations, I think we have to say none of the above. Not a ton of symmetry in a trapezoid. If they had this line of reflection in here, I'd say yes, but they don't have that one. So it looks like none of the above there. Let's take a look at this rhombus over here um, on the right. So our choices, one of our choices is to rotate it around P 180 degrees. And you might be able to eyeball that. I'm just going to actually try it here. See if we can get this to rotate 180 degrees. And there it is, 180 degrees. That definitely matches up. So that is a transformation that maps the rhombus onto itself. I'll turn that back now. So that one's good. And then the next choice is reflection across line C. So here's C. You want to ask yourself, do they match up? If you folded it there, would it be the same thing on either side? And it looks like that is the case to me. We have these two triangles that seem to match up exactly. So I think reflection across line C does map this quadrilateral onto itself. Uh, the next choice is a, a rotation of 270 degrees. That's not going to work. We saw when we rotated it 90 that it didn't match up. I'll just show you that again. So there's 90 degrees right there. 270 would just be like that, more or less. So that does not seem to, uh, to map. And then the other choice is reflection across line D. Let's take a look at that one. Now this one sometimes uh, trips people up because it might look to you that the shape over here is the same as the shape over here. But think about folding over this as a piece of paper. If you folded this side over onto this side, you'd have this part of the tab sticking off the end over here. They wouldn't line up because you're folding on this diagonal direction. So it's like this side goes that way and this side goes that way. So you end up having the tab of paper off the end. If that doesn't make sense, cut out a shape like this and give it a try. But I don't think either of those last two work to map uh, the quadrilateral onto itself. So we did get two on this one. And that is a little bit of practice with uh, identifying transformations to map figures onto themselves.